Hi there, this is Ravi and I will be briefing on Power Center LDAP Authentication Command Line Utilities. The agenda of this presentation would include getting to know few InfoCMD commands related to the LDAP Authentication configuration and otherwise in Power Center along with the sample usage of the same. This will follow with a demonstration of the commands under consideration by executing the same. We will have a look at the list of the InfoCMD commands that we are going to look at that are useful in configuring or retrieving LDAP authentication related settings. Now the clear advantage having such utilities is that a login to admin console is not required for the relevant actions. List security domains is one such command of InfoCMD which can be used to list the defined security domains in the domain. Similarly, list LDAP connectivity would give the configured LDAP settings like LDAP server port and the credentials being used to log into the LDAP server for getting the relevant details. If such a configuration is not already in place, set LDAP connectivity can be used to do the configuration, which is again an InfoCMD command. Sync security domains would help us with synchronizing users and groups from a LDAP server to the Power Center server. List all users is not specific to LDAP, but it simply lists all the users present in the domain which would of course include the LDAP related users as well. Now let us look at the usage of the set LDAP connectivity option. This command would essentially include options like domain name, username and password pertaining to the pass into domain followed by the LDAP server related details like the hostname, port and relevant credentials to login and of course the type of the LDAP server under consideration in the example shown um, the server type is chosen as Microsoft Active Directory the other commands have relatively less number of arguments required primarily domain name and the relevant user credentials. Sync security domains alone would require an extra parameter which is the security domain that needs to be synced synced with the LDAP server. Let's have a look at the demonstration of uh, executing these command line utilities. So this is a command line where uh, we are going to run the commands that we have just seen. The first one would be the setting up of the LDAP connectivity configuration into the domain uh, details. So I have written, I have just copy pasted the command from the presentation to the notepad here for convenience. So essentially this is going to set the LDAP configuration details which will be used to connect to the LDAP server. So executing the command would update the domain database with the details provided in the command. Now that the execution is complete, we will see if this configuration has been updated as expected into the domain database. 
by going to the list lab connectivity option that we have within InfoCMD command. This command once executed will list the set details like a lab host port and the credentials which are being used to log into the same for the LDAP synchronization. The third command uh, would give us the security domains that are defined in the power center. This essentially gave us that the native is one of the security domains which is created by default but otherwise the only security domain which is related to LDAP is called uh, command C O M M A N D. Now though we see that uh, this security domain exists in, in the domain uh, currently there is uh, no option of creating the same uh, using command line so this has been manually set up in the admin console now that we have a security domain already created uh, a synchronization of this security domain can be done using the command that we see here which is sync security domains now essentially this will go and synchronize the users and the groups from the lab server to the power center server for this particular security domain called command C-O-M-M-A-N-D once that has been done we can have a look at all the users that belong to this particular LDAP of course th this particular command would actually list all the users but we from the list we can also figure out which user belongs to which uh, security domain and hence we know that there is one particular user which got synchronized for this particular security domain called command from this demonstration we have seen and heard how command line options can be used to set and retrieve LDAP related details or settings of power center hope this was of help to you we would love to hear feedback from you at the mentioned locations please feel free to give us the same thank you so much